Hello, my name is Kiriath, and today we are going to take a look at this, the Hexfire Battle Box, which pits Grey Knights against Thousand Sun Sorcery. Oh, there we go. The new sculpts that we've seen, the two new sculpts, Crow and the Infernal Master, they are on their way, in the form of a box, obviously. So I've already seen both of the models, and they both look great. I still really like them. Definitely upscaled to some degree. I think probably the Infernal Master gets away with it a little bit better, due to the fact that the uh, all the Thousand Suns infantry have got, like, all the crests and stuff on the head, and they were already slightly upscaled anyway. Crow next to normal purifiers looks very much... Very much a taller, chunkier boy. Which in some ways is a pity, because this is the same kind of box as we've seen before, where it's two new sculpts paired with older stuff. So it's not a box full of completely new things, it is instead a box full of older stuff with new shinies to tempt you along the way. So there's a 40-page campaign book a, uh, detailing the battle for control of Hexenfast, which is not a good name. I'm sorry, Hexenfast sounds like some sort of like to go magic service or you know like drive through drive through witch house and potions or something a gas giant that now plays host to an open warp fissure infesting it with demonic entities you'll find data sheets for all the models in the box of course but also crusade rules including campaign specific battle scars relics and battle traits a cool way to show the lasting effects of the battle for Hexenfast. that's some cool artwork i do like the artwork uh, the for some reason the haft on uh like the the hilt the handle wow i really don't know how swords work the bit what he's holding, the bit what Crow's holding, his sword looks it looks a bit thin and weedy. But I don't know whether that's just because <laughs> because I'm thrown off by how not thin and weedy it is on the model. And in fact, I guess he kind of looks the same. Sort of. His head's way smaller in the artwork. I mean it's not bad artwork necessarily, but he Crow looks weird in that art. I can't even put my finger on why. Is it the posing? Is it because it's hard to tell where his legs are? Maybe it's because the dimensions are just a little bit a little bit strange. Like, he, he looks like he's got a fat chest for some reason. I don't know what's happening there. It's a shame, because overall, I think that's a cool image, but Crow himself looks just looks a bit weird. The Infernal Master looks great, though. Look at that. It looks cool. So, of course, the box also contains two balanced armies of psychic behemoths. Behemoths, depending on how you want to pronounce it, the Demon Hunting Grey Knights and the Masters of Zinch's Magical Legacy, the Thousand Sons. And of course, we've got to have a Nemesis Dread Knight in there with his one pose, his one unchangeable pose, I might add. <laughs> Just throwing that out there, unless you're prepared to get real happy with, with cutting and pinning and green stuff, which you kind of have to, otherwise they all look the same, which is not ideal. So on the Grey Knight side, we've got Castell and Crow, two five-man squads of Grey Knights in power armor, plus a mighty Nemesis Dread Knight. So the Grey Knights can be assembled as Purifiers, or Strike Squad, Intercept Squad, or Purgation Squad. That's cool. So since there's two squads, you can even mix and match. Yeah, that's that's fair. Of course, if you're going for if you're going full Crow, then Purifiers would be the would be the way to do that. But the fact that it's obviously just the whole sprue out of the box, and so you can you can customize to some extent what you want to do with them. That's good. And then uh, and I suppose yeah, the Nemesis Dread Knight can also be worn by Grandmaster if you want. So you could you could. <laughs> You could go for the old uh, the old double HQ there. On the other half of the box, we've got the Infernal Master, five Scarab Occult Terminators, great models, plus ten Zangors and a Zangor Shaman. And it looks like... Yes, it looks like they have the Chainsword and, uh, and, and Pistol option, Last Pistol option, by the look of things, which is nice. They're the proper Thousand Suns ones. Cool. Awesome. A lot of firepower and sorcery slinging action in a small elite force. Yeah, it is. It's just battle of the battle of the psychers, isn't it? The Thousand Suns are a psychic juggernaut, unlike anything in the galaxy. But the Grey Knights are the best equipped to counter their sorcerous ways with iron willpower and psychic tricks of their own. Yeah, yeah. So purifies the most stalwart among the Grey Knights. Castell and Crow is all but immune to corruption, can ev evidenced by the fact that he wields a sword with the soul of a malevolent demon trapped within it. Yeah, he's pretty cool, he's pretty badass, and we get the two new codexes as well, which I assume means that finally, two wounds. Two wounds for Thousand Sons. Two wounds for Grey Knights. We're throwing out wounds left, right and centre, you'd have thought. Any chance of getting that for Chaos Space Marines at some point, maybe? Updating them to have two wounds like all of the Space Marines have had for a long time now? Wouldn't it be nice if that happened? I think it would, wouldn't it? He said with not a hint of salt. His admittedly kind of neglected Emperor children sitting behind him. But there you go. There you go. New box. New box contents. Looks decent again. Admittedly, the Grey Knight stuff is getting on a bit now. 
it is getting on a bit. It's not terrible. It doesn't look bad. Grey Knights always look cool. But uh, yeah, Castellan Crow definitely looks that much better proportioned, a bit chunky and a bit more imposing than his uh, his his old style brethren. I think the Thousand Sons have got away pretty decent, to be honest, in terms of in terms of at least the the newness of their stuff. The Terminators look solid, and Zangors look great as well. And the fact that they're the ones with the chainsaws and the uh, and the pistols just makes it all the sweeter. See, there you go. What do you reckon? There's a buy for you. You gonna pick this up? Are you just gonna wait for the two characters to come out separately because they will eventually. We all know that. How do you feel in terms of the matchup of the box? Do you think it's fair? Do you think it's a bit weighted one way or another? Let me know in the comments down below. In the meantime, feel free to click all the things, Patreon, video subscribe, there's a cliff if you like, don't give if you don't want to, and as always, there's an affiliate link in the description for Element Games, which you can use to support the channel if you would like. I leave it in your capable hands. I will see you next time.